Now, as promised, a special comment on the remarks of the senior senator from Arizona about Senator Obama at the VFW convention and about NBC News and MSNBC. Four times in just two days, Senator McCain's campaign managers have simply hung him out to dry. First, trying to scapegoat the media in the exact way that has spelled doom for other presidential candidates already watching from the sidelines. Second, doing so with a petulant statement so full of holes that it virtually confirms that which was reported and which set off this pointless temper tantrum in the first place. Third, sending the candidate out to speak before the Veterans of Foreign Wars Convention, even as the millstones of a series of disastrous anti-veteran votes still figuratively dangle from around his neck. And fourth, encouraging Senator McCain, while there, to address his opponent in the language of unseemly contempt, undignified calumny, and holier-than-thou persiflage unsupported by reality, near nonsensical bluster that, at best, makes the speaker look like a dyspeptic, grouchy neighbor shouting, hey, you kids, get out of my yard. Though victory in Iraq is finally in sight, you told the VFW today, Senator McCain, a great deal still depends on the decisions and good judgment of the next president. The hard-won gains of our troops hang in the balance. The lasting advantage of a peaceful and democratic ally in the heart of the Middle East could still be squandered by hasty withdrawal and arbitrary timelines. And this is one of many problems in the shifting positions of my opponent, Senator Obama. The shifting positions of Senator Obama. Senator McCain, on the 22nd of May, 2003, you said of Iraq on the Senate floor, quote, We won a massive victory in a few weeks, and we did so with very limited loss of American and allied lives. We were able to end aggression with minimum overall loss of life, and we were even able to greatly reduce the civilian casualties of Afghani and Iraqi citizens. Senator, you declared victory in Iraq five years and nearly three months ago. Today, you say, victory in Iraq is finally in sight. The victory you already proclaimed five years ago? Are we going back in time, sir? If that had not been enough, in June of 2003, with even Fox News noting, many argue that the conflict in Iraq isn't over. You answered, well, then why was there a banner that said mission accomplished on the aircraft carrier? Look, the I have said a long time that re reconstruction of Iraq would be a long, long, difficult process. But the conflict, the major conflict, is over. The regime change has been accomplished, and it's very appropriate. In 2003, your war was won, sir, because somebody was putting up a banner. In 2008, your war might finally be won because you are putting up a campaign based on the mirage that Iraq is winnable. And yet it is Obama shifting positions on Iraq. Even if this country were to forget, Senator, the victory lap that you and President Bush took five years ago, just on their face, your remarks today at the VFW, Senator, are nonsensical. Senator Obama commits the greater error of insisting that even in hindsight he would oppose the surge, even in retrospect he would choose the path of retreat and failure for America over the path of success and victory. This construction, Senator, is extremely simple. If your surge worked, the troops would be home from Iraq or most of them would be, or all of them who were surged would be, or at least we'd have the same number of troops in Iraq now as we did then. Or maybe one of t or two guys would be out of harm's way by now. Please, Senator McCain, stop. This is now embarrassing. <sighs> Whether on his own impetus or that of an advisor, the senator also foolishly invoked his opponent in that speech today. Previous political careers have founded on the rocks of that very same VFW convention. The Republican majority in Congress and the Senate, the very viability of Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld, began to unravel at this convention two years ago. That was the venue for the first of Rumsfeld's two references to Bush critics as Nazi appeasers. Prudence and judgment demanded that Senator McCain tread lightly today. Instead, he told that convention, quote, I I suppose from my opponent's vantage point, veterans' concerns are just one more issue to be spun or worked to advantage. This would explain why he has taken so many liberties with my position on the bill. As a political proposition, it would have been much easier for me to have just signed on to what I considered flawed legislation. But the people of Arizona and of all America expect more from their representatives than that, and instead I sought a better bill. I'm proud to say that the result is a law that better serves our military, better serves military families and better serves the interests of our country.